so in this tutorial we plan to cover the dimensions concepts so here is the dimension toolbar is there and one more multi-leader toolbar is there so we will be covering both the toolbars so first uh, command is linear so dim linear is the command suppose I have some object so using linear command you can give either horizontal or vertical dimension so I will say linear then he is asking me specify first extension line origin then specify second extension line origin then give the location specify dimension line location so in that way in this way it will create the horizontal dimension same way you can also create the vertical dimension by clicking the two points for the vertical lines so in this way you can create vertical and horizontal dimension using linear command and if you want to give a dimension to a inclined line then you can use this aligned for align the method is same click the first endpoint second endpoint and the location so it will give the length of inclined line then third is arc length suppose you have some arc and you want to give the length of that arc then you can use this arc length for that arc length you have to select the arc and give the location so it will show the arc length then next is ordinate so you can give look xy location for any point suppose if I click here if I go horizontal it will show the y location and if I go vertical it will show the x location so x is 16 same way I can give y location also now if I want to catch this point then I have to use node object snap so I will say shift right click node then I have to catch that point so it is showing me the x so in this way for a point you can give x and y location using ordinate dimension if you have a circle and if you want to give the radius then you can use this radius command dim radius select the arc of the circle and give the location same way you can also give a diameter if required so it has given diameter same way one more option is there for radius is jog radius suppose you, if you have some arc but it's uh, suppose its radius is very large and if I mark this center point so this is the center point of this arc this is the center point so but suppose my drawing is very small like this and my center point is going outside my drawing sheet so in this case I can give using jogged so select arc then give the specify center location override so dummy location you have to define then give the jog location and jog location so in this way it signifies that the central location shown is not true but the radius is true so in this way you can give jog then next is angular dimension suppose there are two objects are there so in between I want to show the angle so you can give angular then select first line second line and give the location for the angle so on any side you can give the location so as per that it will show the angle so in this way you can give angular dimension then next is baseline from one line you can give the dimension suppose I have some object so for baseline one dimension should be given by linear or align method so one dimension is given and now says just baseline so you just have to click the second point because per first point he knows that first point is the first line of first dimension so from one line all the dimension has been given so that is called as baseline then next is continue in the case of continue all dimensions are in one line for that the method is same you have to give first by linear method then select continue and just click the second point so it will create dimensions in one line so in this way you can give the continue then next is dimension space suppose if you have some set of dimensions wherein the gap between dimension is not equal so you can make that da gap equal using dimension space suppose I have some dimensions where variable gap is there between those dimensions so these are four dimension the gap between them is not equal so I, if I can make it similar equal using dimension space 
for that I have to se select base dimension then select dimension to space then give right click or enter then he is asking me enter value the gap between two dimension how, how much gap you want there is one option is there called auto if you click on auto it will automatically take the space between two dimension as double of the text height so it will automatically place them at equal distance then next is dimension break so you can uh, add break to the dimension suppose this one dimension is there and here in the crossing I want to put the break so you can put that break using dimension break select dimension to add then select the object to break dimension so it will break dimensions at the crossing positions so in this way you can break the dimension break then next uh, command is tolerance so this command is useful to give geometric tolerance so normal tolerance uh, that we place on the top of the uh, dimension like plus minus 0 0.1 point 0.2 like that so those dimension you can give using text command so we already learned in the last lecture how to use the text and this is a geometric dimension so we will see how to give this geometric dimension suppose one object is there and I want to indicate that this this plane is as a datum plane and this plane will be perpendicular to this plane within some tolerance so I can do that using tolerance so at first I will define this plane as a datum plane so I will say suppose this datum plane is A so I will say A here and I will say ok so it has created this rectangle of A suppose I will just make a larger rectangle so this A has been created then I have to draw a vertical line here then I will need a triangle so I will create using polygon number of sides 3 then I will say edge method and uh, I have created this triangle then I will move this triangle and I will m place it at the end of this line so in this way so I have to fill it with black color so I will use hatch then I will say other predefined solid hatch I want to put there ok then add pick point right click preview enter right click so in this way I have created a datum so here I will place that datum using move command so I am selecting the object so midpoint should be placed at midpoint so this datum this surface has been defined as a datum A then I have to uh, define a relation between this surface and this surface so for that I will again click on tolerance and select the symbol so I want perpendicular and I want suppose tolerance of not 2 then with respect to A I want to define the tolerance ok so this symbol is ready then I have to connect this symbol with this surface so using multi-leader you can do that multi-leader midpoint give the location say ok so you don't have to give any text then move this tolerance and put it at the end of so in this way you can define the geometric tolerance so using this uh, uh, tolerance command you can create any complicated uh, symbol suppose something like this suppose there are multiple datums that also you can define it so if we see uh, and uh, some diameter and some material conditions are applicable then you can again say suppose center position how much variation is allowed so with respect to what at diameter position ok so in this way any complicated symbol you can create in your geometric tolerance then next tool is center mark so you can sh show the center position of any arc or circle just click on center mark select the arc or circle so it will show the center position of that circle then next is inspection so you can add the inspection symbol to your dimension suppose I want to add inspection symbol to this so I will say inspection then you have to select whether what symbol round angular or none so I want angular so inspection rate how much you want suppose I want 100 percent so I will say here 100 percent then select dimension click on dimension enter and say ok so it will place that symbol so this is inspection symbol then I will just undo it then next is uh, jogged jog linear suppose in between you if you want to add some jogged 
for some dimension so you can say jog select dimension to add jog give the position so here in this way you can add jog to any required dimension then next is dimension edit so using dimension edit you can change the text that means length will remain the same suppose here I want to do the 10 uh, replace this value with 10 so that you can do using dimension edit say new then give the value suppose 10 I want I will delete this 0 0 0 then ok then select this and enter so it will say the in this way you can change the text so this jog is now having the meaning so length is not true then next is dimension text edit using this you can place your dimension wherever you want once you finalize the position you can click there so it will be placed there so in this way you can place different type of dimensions then if you want some arrow and text after that then you can use this multi leader multi leader give the position say suppose ortho of so it will be inclined give position and type what you want to write and say ok so in this way you can give arrow and a text then next is add add leader so you can uh, then select multi leader so you can for the same old leader you can define the multiple locations if required right click and enter to come out then if some locations get cancelled then you can use the remove leader select the leader and uh, select the uh, location that needs to be removed press enter so those position you can remove so in this way you can use multi leader then next part comes is that of settings so whatever are the settings for the dimension are in the dimension style so you can click on that then say modify so there are number of options are available basically dimension is made of four elements extension lines these two side lines are called as extension line line with arrow is called as a dimension line arrow and text so all those settings you can do here so first line so we will be seeing important settings so here we are talking about extension lines then he is telling extend beyond dimension line that means this extension line how much out it should come like th this portion he is talking about suppose if I make it point for you so that you can observe here this long portion has come out so this distance is defining here extend be beyond dimension line the next is offset from origin this gap he is talking about this gap here so suppose if I say 0.3 then here you can observe that the gap has increased the next is uh, arrow you can change the arrow to dot so it will be make it dot you can say architecture tick or maximum no times we use close field here you can define the arrow size what is the size of the arrow then here you can change the textile you can create the textile so we have already seen this textile in our previous tutorial so that you can do here you can define the text type here so text placement here on maximum times we use above so it will come above the dimension line then here normally ISO standard is used here it is coming above but here it is not coming so align with dimension line will make it above on each direct dimension but here normally we give it horizontal so say uh, ISO standard so outside dimension it will make horizontal so that means it will be combining both horizontal and aligned in ISO so in this way you can use text then fit for fit important is draw dim line between extension line so here radius is given but internal line is not coming from the center so by clicking on this you can have that line then primary units here you can change the unit if you are using inches you can go for engineering or architecture then you can control the precision so precision is four digit you can say two digit or you can say zero so as per that it will create the time same way you can control precision for angular units also from here then you can suppress the unwanted zeros using leading uh, starting zeros or trailing zeros you can suppress using these buttons zero suppression so in this way you can make the uh, different settings for dimension say ok and close so when you will create the uh, dimension it will be with that set those settings and when we try to give the dimension to some practical drawing suppose if we try to give dimension to this drawing 
so what happens when we give the dimension so i will say linear first point second point location so you can see that there are no dimensions are visible because it is very small so in this case when dimensions becomes very small what you have to do so you just have to go to dimension style say modify go to fit and just change the scale use overall scale up and you need not to change other parameters this child scale will change all the parameters proportionately so in this way suppose i want to make it somewhat more bigger so i will again say modify fit i will say here 20 suppose okay close so in this way it has made that dimension bigger so i only have to make settings like i don't want this four digit i want it above so i will say modify and i will say i want it above i want iso standard from primary units i will say i want single digit okay close so that's where the dimension is ready then next is this multi leader suppose i have to give some leader here then say okay now this leader is also not visible so for that this multi leader style is there at the bottom so you just say modify then say leader structure and specify scale so as you increase the size of leader will also increase so in this way you can put the dimension and you can also uh, you have to create one layer for that dimension so that your dimension will look nice in different color so i will just create a layer for dimension so i will say i will give a name dim then i will assign some color suppose i will say red color i want it line type will be continuous and all those things so i will just select the dimension and i will say dim layer and i will press escape so in this way we can use the dimension cursor size so thanks for joining we'll stop here